I'm here with Algorithm Watch, a really fabulous organization. And why would we at Signal be concerned about agentic AI as Algorithm Watch is concerned about agentic AI? Well, from our perspective, this new AI paradigm, which is part marketing, part implementation, poses an existential threat to privacy and security, and also has a lot of market competition concerns. Agentic AI refers to an AI system that usually involves a number of different AI models, software and hardware, and that acts autonomously without asking you for permission in order to complete complex tasks. So you tell the agent what to do, book me a restaurant, tell my friends, and the agent does whatever it needs to do without checking in with you to get that done. The way that these are being implemented is in an incredibly insecure manner, and they're being integrated into the operating system in ways that are increasingly demanding access to sensitive data from things like your calendar, your Gmail, your Spotify, and even your Signal account. Now, if you let an agent access your Signal account, you have undermined Signal's ability to provide robust privacy and security, and you have effectively created a backdoor that end runs around our robust encryption. So this is a paradigm shift in who controls the operating system, moving control to the companies that create and maintain these systems, Apple, Microsoft, and Google, away from developers like Signal and the users of the devices on which these operating systems run. So this is a serious concern. We think more people should be aware of it. And we recognize that we share a lot of common cause with many others who are building apps for these operating systems. And at this point, we are simply requesting minimum viable controls. This is not everything that needs to be done, but this is the minimum. Developers need to be able to say, no, agents cannot access this data. What we do is too serious, too private, too security critical to allow a vector from an agent. And we need much, much more transparency on how these agents are being implemented and integrated. Again, this is the minimum, not everything that needs to be done. But in order for Signal to persist as a going concern and not to be fundamentally undermined, this is what has to happen now.